this is a zero waste zero waste um spirit and the zero waste spirit is like how we can change the lifestyle yes um to recovering all the resources so that is the um, the design so the design uh, show you all the art we can include in this uh, uh, spirit uh, like uh, recovering uh, all resources repurpose reuse rethink recycle etc this is going to be for the future session painting um okay so in this piece I, I made a little more because I had the chance to clean the Vaseline from inside. Now it's very better. It's not too much Vaseline. So the thing I did <clears throat> during the week was cut the edges and start adding the fabric. We have to add fabric to make this piece strong. Not necessarily heavy, but strong, yeah? Um, looking good, okay. So I cut uh, fabric I had. So this is a good material. So you cut a strip of fabric. Yes. Okay. You got a strip of fabric. You fold it. And Usually, I ask volunteer because sometimes we have many, many volunteers and not all of them can participate in the paper or fabric process, uh, gluing the fabric on the, on the masks. So then I ask them, please cut the strips. So these are the and strip so this is good size it's smaller I usually sometimes when we have many many people and I really want them keep working so we can cut as in small pieces so you control how we are going to develop the workshop uh, session by session so the experience have many years working in this made me uh, realize from the first time I worked in air celebration to now, I really got some certain thing I totally can anticipate how uh, we can survive session by session, uh, even if we have more people than the people we expect. Um, so as soon as I cut all this fabric, I put in the container and I will show just a brief uh, explanation how we are going to make this fabric mache after make another thing which is try to take this piece out of the clay. Remember this was the last piece we had and um, and I had to work in the layers. So la, uh, during the week between the session five and today's session six, during the week, I made seven layers of this um, uh, paper mache in this piece. So now, like you know, we have to take off the clay there are certain areas. This piece is a little more complicated um, to another ones because it has different areas, inside areas. Uh, maybe the piece is going to be broke a little bit, but I can fix it, yes? Uh, okay, now you can see how this piece come out of the clay. I have to pull up little by little um to take the piece of you see 
deep area here. This deep area, I think it's going to break. I think. Yo, perfect. Wow. You want to see? Look the piece. New baby barn. <laughs> I'm so happy. Look this face. This face is very interesting. Very interesting face. Oh, okay. So let me see what happened with the clay. Oh, let me see where I'm going to put it here. This is the clay piece. Now probably some people can understand what's going on. So how we are going to participate in the parade with a big piece of clay? No, it's that one. This is the copy, yes? Look, the copy is so light. It's light. I hold with my fingers. That's it, it's super light. Okay. Uh, I have here, uh, I'm going to take a breeze of uh, maybe change this thing. Let me see. I want to show okay please let me know if you see this is uh, the clay piece Some uh, in that area where I, I said to you that area is complicated because there are many inside areas. So you see the newspaper is attached to the clay. Here maybe we didn't put enough Vaseline in this area, but it's no big deal, really it's no big deal. Can you see that please? Uh, let me know if you are seeing this. Um, there are some newspaper also here in the eyebrows, but it's no big deal because newspaper is a very thin layer if it's just in certain area. I was worried about this in between the nostrils, yeah? But because it's still wet, uh, I, I really, um, take the all complete piece that was good uh, usually when we take long time especially in the workshop when you have to go to the center and wait more than a week to get to the next process sometimes uh, the condition of the clay is super dry and also the paper mache is super dry and usually I break the piece, but now it's still wet. So now I have to leave this uh, piece to dry from inside, much better. So that is here the area where we mess it up a little bit with the newspaper, but it's no big deal because we have seven layers. So we have to correct. And here, uh, I have to cut the edges to be ready for next week. Probably during the week, I have to add more uh, fabric layers. I'm going to put the iPhone in the right position. Oh, my, my fingers are with a lot Vaseline. So it's okay, Pedro, May tell me, look, we good. Okay. Okay, uh, I, I put the, the iPhone in the stand again. Please let me know if you are seeing this in the right position. Okay. Technology is something I need to reinforce. Okay, that thing is done. I will work in that part, break the clay apart, 
and that I need a table. I have actually an extra table outside, it's empty, but I don't have much space here in this room to add the third table. I have uh, another table, my own table here in the, in the studio. So I'm going to um, can you see me please let me know if you can see or call if it's not working okay now I'm going to get this um, zero waste piece and I'm going to show what I do with the fabric matching yeah here for the fabric mache, I use um, Elmer glue. Felicia is watching. Felicia, can you see good? It's looking good. Gracias. Gracias. Okay. So now, I use the Elmer glue. It's not because I promote, I'm making a promotion of this, but it's the one is cheaper and um, it is good so you can make paper mache with wallpaper paste for the paper but i i use i prefer use this glue for fabric it's a stronger and um, i add and i mix with water i mix with water Fortunately, the temperature of the room is better now. I I stopped coming yesterday because I think I got sick. Uh, so I started taking medicine for the cold, drinking a lot of water yesterday. And I feel much better. I, I'm taking Dayquil right now. But I was like chilly and actually very scared about don't get contagious and but I, I never had a fever and I'm not going to outside much I just brought my dog to the doctor uh, Thursday because he's sick so that is the only thing I did during the week okay you see with water now Going to the me messy time. Um, uh, I have here fabric. I do the same thing. It's because I am kind of uh, obsessive with this thing. This is a little messy uh, project, so we have to avoid to uh, be more messy than we need. So put the fingers on the container and just add some glue on the palm. The same thing, this is like my challenge as a teaching artist. And you put the fabric on the palm and you, another thing, good thing to do before do this is spray, spray some water before. Yeah, that is the thing I, I, I needed to do before. I will do in the next step. So now I choose, I, I try to be organized and go step by step. So now here, for example, for the edges, I go and add, can you see here? I don't go to the borders with the fabric I don't go around with the border because there are some Vaseline in some areas. It's good to put some glue before adding the fabric. So I go there and you see here, it's also the same thing. It's a fingertip 
job using the fingers. So you have to touch all the areas inside. It's the best way to do. You need to be patient in this process. Paper mache, fabric mache. Don't leave any bubble, any space in between layers. The same instruction for paper mache is the fabric mache. The good thing I discovered to do when you work in the fabric is you can spread water, make wet, and add, yes, be sure all the fabric is with the glue. And one step here, one, two, side by side, yes? Another one. Oh, here is fingertip. So go with your fingers. Is there, if there are some wrinkles, it's no big deal because it's no outside, yes? So we have to be careful in the outside area about the wrinkles, but here be sure don't leave any bubbles, air bubbles here in between layers. So that is the thing I'm going to do today before I go upstairs. I, I cannot stay too long because here is cold, even if I have the heater. Right now it's 59 degrees, it's, it's still cold. So. After fill it up all this with um, the fabric mache, what I'm going to do uh, before add gesso during the week, I need to sand. Yes, so using different uh, texture, I sand. That one is something I'm going to do probably outside or using some mask. I usually use a mask when I, I am in this process, you know? So there are certain areas are rough and when you touch with your fingertip, you can feel the difference when you use is sand. It's soft. Yeah? It's a rough when you work in this with the sandpaper. Make this softer. We don't have to exaggerate too much in this process. It's just when you feel this soft, it's done. Um, okay. So, uh, again, I will use, like I said, I have a lot of work to do during all this week. Uh, adding the clean inside, the Vaseline, and adding fabric mache, cutting the edges, especially for the new piece. And... Um, Now, for the people that didn't come, if I can use the time, extra time I have to show you what happened when it, we, we need to, or we want to recycle the clay. Okay. Use the spatula and I start especially here there are certain areas with too much Vaseline again you know that the, the people are watching these videos before session by session you know why I'm taking the Vaseline 
out of the clay, yes? Because if we want to reuse again, this clay we can reuse again, we don't lose the clay. Uh, this year probably we can save the clay before um, the, the way the clay before in um, another uh, Earth Celebration project, when I took the pieces, the copy, out of the clay, the clay was already super dry and heavy. So I really, I don't have any chance, I didn't have any chance to save um, the clay because no, I can damage my bag if I try to hold that clay. It's already heavy when I buy the clay. So imagine when it's dry, heavy, and it's not possible to save anyways. But if in uh, this case is, is pretty good uh, condition, so I'm going to save in the plastic bag. And here I can, maybe for next year, we can reuse. So that clay doesn't have any Vaseline, so I put back. So Felicia, I will save this clay for next year. What do you think about it? So we are going to save some money. So the 25 pounds is like $50. It's expensive. It's expensive. So that now, why I'm doing this, it's because I also explain in another session about this, but it's good to know how you reorganize your studio and give room for the next step. So my next step is going to be finishing the fabric and adding probably gesso. I have to film and record that step because if I wait until next week, I'm going to be behind the schedule. So I have to follow my schedule. Imagine we have the presentation in May, yes? So look, this is a super good texture. Look the texture. It's super nice. This is the first time I get the clay in this condition in all my years working in Earth Celebration. <laughs> okay, so that one, can you see? Okay, this is just to see what the volunteer made in the session number one. Session number one was um, using a container, so we use this container just to imagine this is clay, and over that we put a cardboard. It's on the picture of the first step process, and this year I asked the volunteers to in different way the the face. So just. The first session, they add the clay, February 28th. They add the clay and they made, you know, remember Pedro and Rosa, we just make a semi sphere, yes, uh, in clay. So at the beginning, it was a little um, hard to understand what's going on, what we really want to do in this step. But finally, everybody got, because it's better when you work with more than two people and many hands involved in the piece. So maybe I here want to do one nose in some way and another person make a nose in another way. So it's super diff diff it's difficult to get the consent and say, okay, this is the way we are going to do. So I just ask, um, make uh, the semi first in the February 9th first session and the next session, session two, they start dividing the piece in the same way we make a drawing face, yes? 
the portrait classes and divide in different areas, proportions, and after I ask them just go with the geometrical shapes. Nose definitely is a triangle, so make a drawing of a triangle where you are going to suppose, suppose to put the nose. What about this smiley face? So make a curve line, double curve line, um, defining where you are going to put your mouth. About the eyes also, um, can be a circle or just oval, where you are going to add the eyes. So that was the, the question I asked to all voluntary to resolve. And all the time in my own uh, work to make faces, I always go with a spatula or some tool and make definition. I define using lines all the aspect of my uh, symmetrical uh, element. Uh, definitely it's not 100% symmetrical, but this is because handmade is like, even if we try to be symmetrical, that is the way we got certain, no 100% uh, perfect, and that is good. Faces are not always symmetrical, the human faces. Uh, but we have to follow certain rules on the face. So that is the thing. I always, uh, as a recommendation, I always use the tool. I don't have to use ruler or anything. So I have to use the tools. For example, my spatula show me this is the taller for the nose. And when you are making a face and working in 3D face, think about it. It's not drawing anymore. Even if we are using the lines, part of the drawing aspect of um, the visual art, but this is uh, going to be a 3D piece. So the thing uh, we have to do is all the time look from the sides and top and bottom. Never forget that. It's the only way you can make a better piece because we have to think you are working in 3D piece. Um, well, here, let me see. Uh, just, you can see last uh, week I have, I have a problem with this piece because it was a little shorter here was that short front head. So I have to add more clay and I have to add cardboard and newspaper the same way we did when we made the structure at the beginning. So this, this cardboard, uh, Rosa, you remember you work in this piece. I have to add all this cardboard around here to uh, make a little you see, that is the cardboard I add to make the piece stronger in the side because it was going a little down. But um, this is the part the volunteer make very good. So adding newspaper, all the newspaper under. You see that newspaper? I don't have time to take all the pieces because I have to take the Vaseline out. But um, this is clean. Some cardboard will take off the cardboard. This is. So I hope you can see um, the container. Let me see. We can move this. Okay, 
and you see the container, the black container is here. The cardboard we put in the top of the container and the rest is the clay. And here is the first layer of newspaper was attached because probably we didn't put much. No, actually there are, and, and there are a lot of Vaseline here, but it's because it was a hard part. That was a hard part, but we were very, very good actually. The piece, the cardboard piece didn't broke. So that is um, the thing I'm going to do today, clean up the table, uh, save the clay without Vaseline, put in the plastic bag, shake once in a while and add more water to avoid dry. And this piece was uh, called Climate Water. It's very interesting piece. I love it because we made two different expressions. One is the real and ideal life with a good amount of water precipitating to the, the the earth and the left one with this kind of phase um, travel phase I can say is when too much water precipitate to the earth and when doesn't precipitate enough water leaving dry areas and fire so it's, it's very uh, intense. This this piece is very intense, actually. Well, um, I'm so sorry about the first time uh, I was recording this. I didn't realize it was uh, I I I didn't have the iPhone in the vertical way. I all the time had the iPhone horizontally. Actually, I realized this the first time we start making the live stream. We need to put the iPhone in an horizontal way. I don't know what happened, uh, but uh, I hope right now you saw the half of the presentation in the right way. I will try to figure out if we can fix it the another film. But uh, this is practically the thing I have uh, to to do now, and. To me, is the iPhone is a little far away. I cannot respond and see anything right now. I cannot see the letter R is small. Eh, pero sideways again. Okay, I don't know what happened. I hope it's okay. Uh, almost done. I have a. Uh, uh, three more minutes to one. If you want to write some um, comment, please do it and I can read the comment. And if you have some question, ask question and I can answer next week. I believe we working. I feel much better now. I'm taking Dayquil and uh, the thing I have is nothing connected with the virus, but I know, like my husband said, the immune system low when we are sick, so it's better to not take a risk. Uh, the temperature is, is good here right now, so I can continue working a little while. But um, I hope everybody is doing okay at home. If you have to go outside for some reason, uh, because you have to work, I um, still have uh, people working, um, coordinator from senior center, they are working, they are taking a risk, uh, but they have to provide food for the seniors, and that is is, is very uh, sad situation, the thing happened now, but uh, at least uh, through this workshop, we can inspire on other people, maybe. Uh, like I told before, uh, paper mache is something everybody knows how to do. It's just sometimes need inspiration, sometimes need a time. And because we are working very hard, everybody is busy working, 
we don't have the time to relax and feel inspired and explore our talent. Sometimes people discover talent, discover something they, they never did and discover they are good in that. That is uh, the purpose and the consequences when we direct the workshop. So after that, people said, I never imagined I could do something like that before. And for us as a teaching artist and visual artist, it's a plus, makes sense. We are doing it in the right place, working with people and inspired people at the same time. Um, we are make the people aware and more conscious about the reality, about our situation, have a human beings. So one more minute, please write comment. Again, I'm so sorry for the uh, bad position of the iPhone. You will have a little hard time to see my video. Yeah, right now it's one o'clock. I will continue working and I hope you coming back for the session number seven, which is going to be um, maybe some paint. Uh, we will see what happened. Bye everybody. Take care. Adios. I love you. I love you, Rosita. Bye. Felicia. Take care. Bye.